Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the latest version of Signage Mod 11. Uh, this method will work on any unlocked device, so all the Nexus devices, uh, any device that's on T-Mobile or AT&T pretty much, uh, most Verizon devices are not unlocked bootloaders. Um, this is pretty much the only device, the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10, that I'm able to install the M4 on uh, because Note 3... Uh, S4 and the rest of those devices don't have unlocked bootloaders or my S4 does have an unlocked bootloader But there's no official port of the M4 to it just yet but We'll go ahead and install this you do need a custom recovery and unlocked bootloader and you do need the M4 file for your phone I will include a link in the description uh, for a list of the M4 snapshots for all devices that are supported and Then you'll need the latest version of G apps as well so Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do here is boot into recovery. Um, on the Nexus 7, it's volume up and power at the same time to get into recovery. On your device, it may be different. Uh, most ROMs include an option to reboot directly into recovery. For some reason, this nightly build of Signage Mod 11 did not include that. Okay, so for me, it's volume up and power. Okay, my recovery of choice is Team Win Recovery. Uh, just make sure that your files are present. I've got my Signage Mod 11 Snapshot M4 and then my G Apps uh, 4.4.2. So we'll go back and we'll wipe data, cache and Dalvik cache, and then we'll go back and install both the ROM first and then the G Apps. So give this just a few minutes to install. Okay, once the ROM is installed, we'll go back. And before rebooting, we'll go ahead and flash the G apps. Whatever you do, do not forget to flash the G apps or you will be without the Play Store and all of your Google applications. So now we can reboot the system. Most of you guys are familiar with the new Signage Mod 11 boot animation. Of course, it's been out for several months now. Uh, but here is the new boot animation. It's pretty simple, uh, simpler than Signage Mod boot animations in the past. It's just uh, basically Sid there with a circle around it just indicating that it's loading up the operating system. So of course the first boot will take a little longer. You just wiped your data and it has to boot from scratch. That being said, it still booted pretty quickly. Uh, we'll choose our location. Okay, so you'll sign into your Google account and it's going to restore because I asked it to. It's restoring my device so whatever applications were there to go ahead and download those uh, you can skip that because it does take a little while to download all the apps and everything else you can choose your location settings you can change your date and time here I'm on central so we'll keep that so this setup is complete so here we have the KitKat launcher We've got KitKat wallpapers and our Signage Mod 11 wallpapers. So basically, what you're gonna get with Signage Mod 11 M4, you're gonna get the most stable build of Signage Mod 11 that is available for your device. This is an M build. Uh, some have referred to them as milestone builds, but basically it is a monthly release that keeps Signage Mod on an update schedule. If you're flashing the nightlies on a regular basis, there are bugs included. Signage Mod doesn't hide the fact that there are bugs in every nightly release. Uh, nightly builds are built by a computer uh, users input code and the computer builds the nightly build and because it's not done manually by a human there are some bugs present the monthly build or the M builds are Signage Mod's best effort to bring you a daily driver ROM with no bugs or very limited bugs uh, so everything's gonna work in this ROM as far as uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth camera uh, pretty much anything that you would need for this to be a daily driver ROM will be totally functional in this build. So quickly, just a few things uh, that have been added that I found. They've got a new Signage Mod Easter egg, so we'll check that out real quick. And there it is. Okay, so other than that, uh, in the Signage Mod 11 M4 build, uh, Trey Boucher Launcher has added support for custom icon packs. So before there was an issue with some icon packs, especially icon masking, that has been resolved in Trey Boucher, which means that you'll get better support for your icon packs. Some other things include Theme Engine has been fixed. So before, users were getting lots of crashes on 
the theme engine. The theme engine fix uh, makes it to where there shouldn't be any more crashes whenever you're running the theme engine. There's been more hands-free device support added in this build and there's also system nav bar left-handed mode options are now available. So we'll go into settings real quick and we'll take a look at some of the personalization options. Of course, these are all familiar if you've ever inside of Jamod 11. We got lock screen, uh, there's screen security, battery status from the lock screen, you can turn that on. Slider shortcuts, you can choose your own slider shortcuts. You can choose any application uh, in your app drawer. And you see the camera was added there. When all that's finished, you can add custom widgets to your lock screen. Uh, you can customize the clock widget for the lock screen. Theme engine is here. You can uh, choose any theme engine from the Play Store and apply that there. And you have some interface customization options. Status bar, you can choose to show the clock or remove the clock. Everything happens on the fly. If you enable brightness control, if you grab the status bar, you're able to increase or decrease the brightness. You can show notification count, double tap to sleep. That's a pretty cool feature that I've not seen on CyanogenMod uh, in the past. So you would just double tap the status bar to put your device to sleep instead of having to click uh, the sleep button on the side. Notification drawer, you can change the auto close behavior, you can choose to show the quick access ribbon in the notification bar, which is here. So basically that just adds your uh, settings toggles back to your notification bar. Okay, you can enable or disable the expanded desktop. Here you can change your on-screen buttons and you can add some quick screen, a quick, you can add quick launch shortcuts. Other than that, you do get some custom signage mod applications such as Apollo File Manager, DSP Manager. Mostly what you get with signage mod 11 is just a very stable, fast, quick, ROM experience, if you're running a device that runs TouchWiz or like HTC Sense and you want an AOSP vanilla stock Android experience, CyanogenMod is the best way to get that on your device. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can find more of me at DroidModRx.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.